There we go. That's a good one. That is a big one. That might be a catfish or a 10 pounder. Oh my goodness. That is a big fat fish. Oh my goodness. I can't even talk. He's so big. Oh my goodness. That is a huge bass. I haven't even seen him all the way, but he's huge. You and I have something in common. Anytime we see a sale basket in a tackle store, wherever you're at, you run to it, you skim through it, you look really quick. Well, today we're not going to a sale basket in a tackle store. We're actually going into Walmart and I'm gonna show y'all one of my favorite rods that actually kind of helped me learn how to bass fish and helped me build out my arsenal when I was first learning. We're at Walmart and we're gonna go pick up one of these rods. It is a $20 rod. Last time I bought it, it was $20 and I think they've kind of revamped it. I think I saw one a couple days ago when I was in a Walmart. So I didn't really get a good look at it, but it looked a lot more red than it used to. So I think they've updated it. I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is, but we're gonna go inside of the store. We're gonna pick one out and we're gonna go catch some bass on it. So stay tuned. And then we're gonna rate it on three things at the end of the video. We're gonna rate it on just overall, how did it make me feel? Does it make me happy? Versatility of it, what all do I feel like I can do with it? And then the build quality of the rod, so stay tuned. So guys, when I first started fishing, I know for a fact I had like two or three of these rods. One probably had 12 pound fluoro on it, the other 30 pound braid, and like one with mono, because I was trying to be able to fill like the voids in my arsenal. If I had a $100 combo, I probably didn't have enough money to buy two of those $100 combos. I would come into Walmart, I'd even either buy one of these rods or vengeance rod depending on what reel I had for it and what I wanted to go on but you can probably look back on my channel one of my first five or so videos either use this rod or add this rod in the thumbnail so I've been a fan of these for a while but you know as you kind of grow and you mature doing something you kind of get away from the stuff that started you off and you want to upgrade you know it's the same thing with any hobby you get into today I know not everybody has two or three hundred dollars to spend on a fishing rod so I'm gonna show you one for $20. Hopefully it's between like 20 and 30. I know prices go up and it's been four or five years. It seems like prices go up once every week now, but everything just goes up by a cent every day. And then that little cent adds on. All right, hopefully they have it. That's the thing. That's the only bad thing about coming to these stores and doing these videos is sometimes they don't have the stuff. And I think they do have it. No, that is not it. It's an Abu Garcia Vigilante. Look at that little spinning rod. Guys, please drop down in the comments. This section right here in Walmart is always your friend. So if there's any rods that you're looking at, you don't know if you want them or not, please let me know because I will come in here, buy them for you, tell you the good, bad, and ugly, and let you know if it's a good business decision for your fishing career to buy one of these rods. Also, all the rods on this side. But I can't tell you the amount of times that I've came in here, either something's been priced wrong or it's had a clearance sticker on it. It's not supposed to have a clearance sticker on it. And I leave with a new rod out of Walmart. All right, here they are, the Berkeley Cherry Wood. Look at that. Let's see, please be under $30. Berkeley Big Game Cherry Wood right there. Boom, only $25. I promise you they used to be like 19. Let's see what all they have. They look like they're all the same length. Oh, oh, we don't want all of them. All of those almost just fell right on my head. That would have been nice. $25 rod out of Walmart. They've updated it a lot. If any of you are familiar with like the older style, it used to be kind of a more burgundy color. This one's more of like a little bit darker than like a Lightning McQueen red. That's how we're going to describe it to you. And a seven foot medium heavy, this is going to be perfect. This is actually the one that we want right here. So $25 rod out of Walmart, can't be any good, right? Hopefully they haven't changed like the blanks or anything or what these are made out of, because these things used to be money. Like honestly, I think I could name this video the $20 rod that could change your life. Because I think that this rod is a life changer rod because you could buy all of these, you could get Four of these rods, $20, and you have four new combos in your arsenal, pair them all with Black Maxis, Max Pros. You could leave out of Walmart with $300 worth of fishing gear and have four different combos. You can buy your line, all that. We're gonna get this, we're gonna go check out, and then we're gonna take it to the pond and start getting some big mouth bass on it so I can show y'all how good these hopefully still are because they used to be really good, so stay tuned. The next morning. All right, guys, it's the next morning. We have our Berkeley cherry wood out here. We're throwing at something a little bit different today. Normally, I don't throw these. I've had them in my tackle box. I always pick them up and look at them, but I just never end up like going through with throwing them. We have a big speed boss with a wobble head. I think it's probably a 3 8 ounce or so wobble head. I feel like most rods with the moving bait, they're all pretty much going to perform the same. You're going to feel the vibration of the bait depending on what moving bait you're throwing. If you're throwing a swim jig, probably not going to feel any vibration. I mean, a slobber knocker, rattle trap, crank bait, things like that, you're always going to feel the vibration 
all that stuff is going to be pretty standard but what i really want to test today because i feel like that's the only question of this ride is going to be sensitivity and durability now they say you get what you pay for so we're going to see if you get what you pay for or do you get more than what you pay for i don't know if i've ever fished this ride with the texas rig we're going to see how the sensitivity of it does today because that's really my number one question how sensitive is it let's see if these big mouth bass want this wobblehead speed boss we have tied on for them this morning super pretty day i've been seeing fish jump and everything so hopefully we can hopefully they're up and active this morning I definitely did not put my scupper plugs back in this kayak. It rained and it was sitting in the bed of my truck and it filled up with water. So I had to take all the scupper plugs out to let it drain out. Cause of course didn't want to let the water sit in the kayak and I forgot to put them back in. Cause I mean, when I say this thing was like filled up with water, it was filled up maybe halfway, quarter way with water. It's all good though. We got on our extra toughs today. We should be, those are extra tough. So we should be extra tough, you know? Whoa. The only thing that I kind of don't like about this rod, and it's a $25 rod. So basically like compared to other rods, it's basically a free rod. But the only thing that I absolutely don't like about it is the long grip. I love a good split grip. The only thing, it is kind of like tapered in the middle. So like up here it's thick, down here, right here it's kind of tapered in and then it gets back thick at the bottom. So that's nice. It, ooh, 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 I thought we had a bite already, I was about to say. That was quick. <laughs> I don't really like the cork all the way through, but I mean, this is a $25 rod, just kind of to be expected with a rod at this price point. It's the rig that we're throwing again today. Probably need to kind of fix that up a little bit. That The little lead head on it wobbles around. There's no problem with casting it or anything like that. It's just not what I'm used to. I can definitely feel that the just really, really good sensitivity is not there as i'm hopping this worm across the bottom of the pond like i can kind of feel that it's not as sensitive as you know a hundred dollar rod i can tell it's definitely not as sensitive as like a fantasy stir or something like that with that fantasy stiff a bluegill even swims by the worm you'll feel it but i mean most of the time when a fish picks up your worm no matter what rod you're throwing you're going to be able to feel it but it's just those light bites that you might miss out on i feel like with this rod but then again for 25 bucks i don't know I don't know if that's that much of a problem. Just don't throw a Texas rig on it like I am today. It's a moving bait. As far as castability, that's definitely there. I know that has a lot more to do with the reel than the rod, but definitely say it's good and stiff, good and castable. There we go. Got one, got our first one. So, I, oh, he came off, no. Oh, so I started swimming the worm instead of like casting it and kind of working it like a Texas rig. Oh, I don't think our drag was set good. Yeah, yeah, our drag was not set at all because I was just turning the handle and it wasn't going anywhere. Okay, let's see. Oh, I felt that bite though when he hit it. I know I said I wasn't going to fish a moving bait today, but I think since this water's so shallow, this is the best way to do it. Just kind of try to get a reaction bite by bringing one, by bringing it by one's face. And we had our first bite right there. Hopefully y'all could see him jump out of the water because that was pretty sick. And I was looking at him, I was reeling as fast and hard as I could. And I was looking, I was like, why is he not moving? And I, you know, that's normally telltale sign your drag's not set. If you checked out the last video where we reviewed the ugly stick bash rod, still crazy to me that ugly stick makes a bash rod and it's actually high quality. Like it's actually really good. But if you check out that last video, I did this thing that I call like the guide test that I do on all of my rods. Whenever I pick up a rod, I always do it. This one, I rate them out of 10. You know, that's the easiest way because they're going to move. You know, you don't want to sit in the store and just like, you can move the guide, but you just give it a light little push. This one would get about a three on the guide test. Guides are easy to move, but I did say in that video that that, I have found that that has no correlation to like guys snapping off breaking um, or like losing fish because your guides are loose. Yeah, they'll move around. They're going to bend, stuff like that. But I have not found any type of like okay just because the rod has a loose guide that there's a lot of expensive like two three hundred dollar rods that guides are flimsy but rod is sensitive it sensitive as it can possibly be the only reason why i care about the guys is just because of the amount that i fish these rods go in and out of trucks in and out of kayaks and out of a garage and out of the house uh they get dropped in the water sometimes you know like a lot of stuff happens to these rods that doesn't make the video so like i want one that's you know if i drop it on the concrete I don't want to have to worry about like, a guide popping out of it or a guide being bent and me breaking off a fish because of a bent guide. All right, guys, just made a little switch from the speed boss over to the red frit side. We're going to fish over here on the deeper side. We've only had one bite so far today, and that was on the speed boss swimming it. So 
I know this side over here is a little bit deeper, so maybe we can hook up on a deeper cranking bass. There we go, that's a good one. That is a big one. That might be a catfish or a 10 pounder. Oh my goodness, that is a big fat fish. Oh my goodness, I can't even talk, he's so big. Oh my goodness, that is a huge bass. I haven't even seen him all the way, but he's huge. Like he's in the grass and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him out. Oh my goodness, he went straight for the grass. He went straight for the grass. That fish is huge, oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him out. Like I couldn't do anything. Like he was just pulling. I tied my drag all the way. I mean, he just went straight into the grass. Let's see if, hopefully we can get him out somehow. It was a catfish. My, my mind went straight for catfish because I caught a catfish last weekend in that tournament. Yeah. This is, this might be like the craziest catch of the year so far i mean he went straight for the grass and there was literally nothing i could do about it like i was just kind of along for the ride force power this bona fide to see if maybe we can like force him out of the grass even though it's probably not the greatest stuff. oh he got off oh no he broke our line no he didn't no he didn't he just got off oh my goodness that fish was huge and so strong it's not what you want, and then we're right over the spot where we caught him at, too. Golly. I mean, it was like there was absolutely nothing I could do. That was a huge fish. The bass was huge. I hope you can see that on the GoPro, because, I mean, that thing was... Whew. That would have been the ultimate test for the cherry wood right there. I mean, that thing, there's no telling how big that fish was. I mean, it could have been six, seven, eight pounds. Oh gosh, that was a cherry wood test. I don't know if you can even blame that on the cherry wood. Cause I mean, it was really the real, I couldn't move it. Oh my gosh. And then my, I was tightening down my drag and he was still pulling drag. Like I don't, that's hard for me to wrap my brain around a fish that's that strong like i don't think i've ever felt a fish that strong before in my life for the size that i think he was that's definitely the strongest bass i've ever fought so i think he was definitely over five 100 over five strongest five pounder i've ever fought literally ever fought like i set the hook on him and literally could not move him like he wasn't he was going where he wanted to go my drag was not tightened all the way down but it was tight enough to where he shouldn't have just pulled me all over the lake like that Golly. I mean, I just watched him swim straight into the grass and couldn't do nothing. I was just along for the ride. Just there watching. There we go. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, he got off. No, that one got off too. Oh my goodness. What is what? Look, I have a scale on that one. Okay, we're 0 for 3, so it's not looking good for this cherry wood right now. There we go. Got him. Got one. There we go. He ate it on the cast before this, but got off dude this thing is strong he is fighting and also he's not hooked that good <laughs> but what's new oh it's a big one it's a big one big one on the cherry wood no problems here oh problem with the net baby <laughs> oh that's a good one. Oh, that makes me just wonder about the one we hooked before that oh i don't know if i brought my scale this would definitely be a good time to use it <laughs> Oh gosh, we've been out here for three hours now. First fish, four bites. I only got one landed. Rod felt amazing. Guys, I'm telling you, these budget rods, like you don't need these two, three, $400 combos, especially if you're not fishing every weekend. 
go buy you one of these. Next time you go to Walmart, if you have the extra 25, 26, 27 dollars for tax, 30 bucks, just go buy one of these rods and try. That's all. Like, I'm not trying to sell it to you because I need an affiliate link commission or whatever. I just want you to have more stuff in your arsenal. Because if you're like me, I would have like I filled my arsenal with these when I first started out bass fishing, just so I was complete. Like you can't go wrong. Look at this. This is a fat fish. Like he just there's no telling what that is in his stomach that he just ate. He's not missed any meals. I mean he's a three pounder and he's good, big and thick. Like he's just a healthy fish. Not missed very many if any at all meals and you cannot tell me that one this isn't fun two that i could have done any of a better job with that fish with a more expensive rod i mean seven foot medium heavy i just love it i love it i love it look how clear that water is and you just soaked me you <laughs> oh man i wish i could have seen that one after seeing how hard that one fought i don't know if that one that we thought was a monster was that big i wish i had some braid with me i'd put some braid on this rod and flip this grass because the way that that fish that we thought was big came off and it swam straight into the grass i bet there's a whole bunch of them just chilling out in the grass waiting to be caught so maybe that might be a future video coming out here and doing some winter time flipping because this water is cold but it's not freezing cold you know it's, it feels like it still could be like in that 60 to 70 degree range so the question is at the end of the day, should you buy it? 100% you should buy it. It is a $25 rod. I don't think you can beat I don't think you can beat it for $25. It gets the job done. It does what it needs to do. Am I gonna go out and fish a tournament with $10,000 on the line with this rod? No, probably not. But if you need a rod just to keep in your truck, keep in your truck bed, if you need an extra rod to throw a crankbait on, throw a whatever on i mean anything this rod comes in all different shapes and sizes so it comes in spinning combos if you want to see me pick up a spinning version of this rod leave a comment down below so if you're just getting into kayak fishing this would be a great rod if you're still kind of like unbalanced on the kayak you know you don't want to take out your two three hundred dollar combo buy a black max get this rod it's a fifty dollar combo take it out in the creek put some braid on the black max tie on a chopo and go catch some fish out of a creek if this rod flies out of the bed of my truck going down the highway going 70 down the highway i don't think i would be too hurt about a 25 dollar rod you know don't want it to happen but if it did you know i think that's where that rod really comes into play at so guys so that being said i hope you enjoyed today's video thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today let me know what you want to see next on the channel if there's anything that you're looking at in walmart i said it earlier but if there's anything that you're looking at walmart field and stream dicks academy bass pro um any outdoor store any gear that you're looking at you're like ah, i don't know if i want to get that let me know leave me a comment because i'll go buy it for you i'll do a review tell you how it is i haven't found anything that i think is completely unusable yet i mean you guys know it's a 25 dollar rod don't expect too much but it's usable go to walmart go fill it pick it up once you pick it up and fill it you'll know either you'll know right away yes this is for me or heck no i would never use this but that being said thank you all for all the support on the channel don't forget to fish them hard and have a good day i'll see y'all later chasing a bag i'm racing the clock look at them flock watching them flop used to see this on my sleep when i ain't had shit but my thoughts in the car i really was lost now i'm public with the soundscapes